Jennifer. No one wants to start the meal. This might be off-putting to some people. Is it supposed to be mushy? Yeah. I never cook with blood sausage. Fran never cooked with blood sausage. It was all nasty and brown and black looking. Where's your uh, sausage at, guys? In the oven. Pull it out real quick and just make sure it's not blowing up. Oh, fuck me. It just busts. You're supposed to prick it before you cook it. Damn it! Last minute, guys! I'm so not happy with this. Beautiful, beautiful. Go, 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 go. Five, Wipe your rim, Fran. Four, Here, Fran. Three, one, two, one, stop! OK, let's go. Up first, Nilka and Fran's dish will face off against Benjamin and Ed's. What's your dish? We have the blood sauces with a prune puree. Already you look negative. I'm not pleased with the plate. That's why I don't look happy. I'm really, really not. Who in the fuck chose prune with blood sausage? Talk to me, red team. We're gonna do like a nice sausage, and we're gonna garnish it with prunes. It's the best. It's the best thing. It was his decision to put those items onto the plate, and Scott's trying not to own up to it. It went completely wrong. Understatement of the year. I knew it. I'd just rather have one if they were an empty plate. Like, voila, chef. That's a fucking disaster. Go. And now Trev, the 30-year-old bartender from Chicago. Morning, chefs. Must completely blow the judges away just to tie. Here we go. I have to get fucking tens from all of them. So then this thing better fucking taste awesome. Right, parboil frog legs. Finally, we have a smile on Ludo's face. Chef Ramsay told me, oh, go for it, out of the box. That's what I did, and I went for it. He says, let it go, I let it go. Trevor, you really let it go. Uh, I don't know how you make a frog leg look like that, Trevor. <laughs> you know, I, because I, don't, I just didn't know what the hell it was until you told me what it was. No, I was a little scared at first, frankly. Maybe it tastes better. Let's hope so. It looks like maybe you put the frog in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> you serve me that at the restaurant, I don't know if I want to stay. Wow. Trev's long shot to impress the judges has fallen short on presentation. 31. Not as bad as I thought. And the flavor of his dish. Honestly, the, the most positive thing I can say about it. Just adds insult. It's very small. To injury. 31 out of 50. 62 out of 100. Damn. Apparently, my amuse was quite amusing. I go out of the box, and all they can do is poo-poo it right there. Well, right now, I can only pray that Trevor got a banging ass dish. Come on, Trevor. All right, we could do this. All I need to get is a three or higher from both judges, and we're in like Flynn. I've made this dessert a bunch of times. Everybody loves it. You know, I'm thinking, all right, let's go up there and give her a kiss. These are avocado kisses. This is actually my take on superfood. I really dislike this dish, I have to say. I really dislike this. This is everything that I dislike about healthful eating getting integrated with dessert. It's incredibly soggy. Like, am I dreaming this? Because this is like one of my nightmares where I think that I make something amazing and then they just tear it to shreds and tell me I'm fucking horrible at my job. It tastes like a bush. <laughs> I want to forget this. Dessert yeah. should be a treat. Absolutely. Right? Not a health kick. So I go one. One, yeah. I agree. Thank you. Elise really better put her money where her mouth is right now. That's all I have to say. Uh, just explain to the judges what it is, please. It's a fresh berry zabayon. Followed by a heart bypass. A dessert for 10. I probably could have put it in a smaller glass. Do you think so? <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. What is in there at the bottom? Berries and the liqueur and vinegar. Vinegar? How much vinegar have you put in there? Just a splash. No, there's more than a splash in there. Smell the vinegar in there. Honestly, <laughs> today's your lucky day. Let me tell you why. We're not awarding a zero. <sighs> Back in line. What a disaster. You made the right choice dropping that, let me tell you. Chef Ramsay nailed it. It was disgusting. We made the right decision. Um, Andrew, please, describe the dish. It's a chili rub New York with a roasted carrot and cumin sauce. A bit too much blood on the plate. Yes. I, don't, I just don't want to see it yeah. pooling mm -hmm. on the plate. What the hell are you doing? 
You work at a fucking steakhouse, Andrew. The secret behind any good New York strip, any steak, let it rest. Thank you. With Andrew getting bloodied by the judges, Johnny looks to bring the heat with his spicy flank steak tostadas. To me, th this has to taste fantastic because the presentation isn't as good as the other three. Yeah, I ran out of time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everybody had 40 minutes. Yes, chef. That filet mignon had 40 minutes. So did the New York strip. So did the skewers. I'm just out of that bullshit. Yes, chef. It's neither crispy nor no. it's, it's sort of gummy. Tough as old boots. Mm -hmm. Come on, Johnny. Really? This is bad. This is so bad. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Michelle. No. Are you OK? Oh, no. It's terrible. Um, can we agree that's out? Yeah, that's out. Johnny's is out, yeah? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Let's begin with the hot seafood appetizers. Bring them up, please. Bryce and Chef Andy will select one of the four appetizers to feature on their wedding reception menu. Thank you. First up. Ariel, let's start off with your seafood appetizer. I did a grilled piece of squid stuffed with lobster claw. Andy, what do you think visually? It's really opaque looking. Slightly phallic in terms of looks like the bison's penis. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say that. Not the most attractive. It's an aphrodisiac. You didn't cook the squid enough. It's still raw, it's very chewy. Yeah, Bryce? Yeah. It's just kind of off-putting yeah. visually. That's not a good start. Last five minutes, let's go! With time running out. I can't get this right. None of the chefs have made a crepe that they are comfortable putting in front of Chef Ramsay. This takes a lot of practice. Chefs like, just push it around with this cool little stick and voila! I don't know what I'm doing wrong. No voila. There was no voila for me. Two minutes to go. Fuck, mine's fucked. Andy, help me get a crepe that's good and usable. Spread it all the way around. Last 90 seconds. Holy crock moly. I gotta try one more. You don't have time. Plates are here, guys. 15 seconds to go. All right, you got a plate? Here, plates right here, plates right here, plates right here. Five, here, four, here. three, two, one, stop. What a disaster. It all comes down to dessert. Let's go. But the easiest crepe you could possibly make is the dessert crepe. We should have this in the bag. And dome's off, please. The pressure is on. It's do or die time. Wow. Holy fuck. Dave, what is that? I made a cream cheese and mixed berry flavoring. Why is it full of gunk around the outside? It looks like a plate of diarrhea. Yeah, chef. It doesn't matter how good something tastes, but if it looks like diarrhea, man, I ain't eating that shit. I asked for a crate, not a plate of crap. <laughs> yeah, chef. No points. What a shame. I'm hoping Sabrina's crepe came out terrible. I'm hoping for, like, a Hail Mary. OK. Sabrina, what hey, is chef. that, please? Poached pears and chocolate ganache infused with cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then a little Grand Marnier just to give that chocolate a little wow. kick. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. I can see that already in Whistler. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Well done. Thank you. Good. Sabrina, you win the challenge. Well Thank done. you, chef. I visualize my dish, and then I just go with it. And I'm usually spot on, so I'm the complete opposite of row. I'm just using the heads. I'm going to go with the spot prawn and just rip the heads off, because my favorite part is sucking the head out. For me, it's refined and elegant. This is what I'm thinking, just using the, the heads of the spot prawns. Just the head, yeah. Team player row would have been like, absolutely not. Don't put that head on a plate. But I really need to focus on my own performance. Red team, you have an extra chef. Decide amongst you on which dish you're going to drop. Who do you want to drop? <gasps> hey, how about this disgusting prawn head? I'm going be honest, I don't feel confident in mine. This is messy. Everybody plates look beautiful, but mine. Five. Four, three, two, one, and serve. Red team, have we made a decision? Y yes, chef. Yes, chef. Stir it's up, chef. mine is not eye appealing. How does it taste? It tastes 100. I mean, it tastes good, chef. Jennifer, let's go, please. Yes, chef. Once again, it's up to me to save the day on this. What? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Jennifer, no one wants to start the meal. This might be off-putting to some people. Sucking on a head. Um, I went with a spot prawn, and it seems like everyone's favorite part is sucking the head. So, um, <laughs> OK. Jennifer, who the hell are you hanging out with? 
I marinated it, and then I just used the marinade as the sauce and thickened it with a little coconut milk. It's too rich for me, the coconut milk, but I admire your cojones for trying this. Yep. Um, so I'm going to give you a three. Let's be honest, not every customer is going to sit down and start sucking the head. <laughs> uh, two. Thank you. Jennifer, you're a fucking idiot. 